Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of GameGin Linux. This time around I thought I'd make a video on the games that I can highly recommend through these really tough times, otherwise known as the Steam Summer Sales. Starting off with Shadow of Mordor, which is currently £3.19. It's an absolute steal. Ported to Linux by the wonderful people over at Feral. £3.19 is an utter steal for this game. Go grab it. Next up on the list is Stardew Valley, which is currently £6.59 on sale. I'm still waiting on the co-op update for this game, but in the meantime there is still a ton of things to do in this game, and it's so much fun, even if it's just single player. <sighs> Metro Redux is next on the list at £6.24 for two games. You get Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light. There's a lot of content in here, and it's a game that I've been meaning to actually play properly and complete, especially since the new game in the series actually got announced at E3. We can obviously hope that th that game is going to be ported to Linux as well. What next then the game that I recommend more than anything in this world, Rocket League. Currently it's £8.99, I have synced f over a thousand hours into this game now. <laughs> it's not gonna stop. <laughs> I, I think I need help, but yeah, this, this game is incredible. I, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, if you haven't tried it yet, it's it's for anyone. Like even if you're bad at the game, uh, there's always something to learn. You know. Yeah, Rocket League, it's great. Get it. <laughs> city Skylines is next for five pound ninety nine. A really good city builder simulator. It's fantastic. There's a lot to it, and it, the developers seem to be still rolling out the DLCs and the updates for this game, so it's definitely worth the price and obviously there's DLC on top of it, so it's definitely worth checking out even the DLCs. It's it's a, it's a fantastic game, there's a lot to do it and you, you, you sort of get lost in time playing this game, so definitely go ahead and check it out. Next up, Firewatch. For £6.74, the, the game is about four hours long and it's a game that I actually completed in two sittings. So I played twice, basically, and completed it. For £6.74 the game, I think I think it's worth that price. It's a fantastic game, it looks beautiful and it's, it's, the story is fantastic. And you really get involved in these two characters that you basically spend the whole game listening to. Ah, Terraria. For £3.49 you cannot complain about this game. Even after so many years that it's been released, they just pump out content for this yearly. Like, more than yearly to be honest, like every other month. They release a brand new patch, unleash a ton of content into this game, and it's it's a game that always ends up bringing me back. I've got about 100 hours into this game already, and I, I always end up coming back and making a brand new world, getting really far, and then just leave it for a bit until another patch comes out, but it, it's, it's really worth £3.49, you can't complain. Now, my aim for this video was 20 games. But then Valve games came along and I, I sort of decided to sort of have them in their own category. So Portal 2, £1.49, Left 4 Dead 2, £1.49, Half-Life 2, if you're crazy enough not to own this game yet, 69p, CSGO, £8.3, Day of Defeat Source, £1.39. There are so many Valve games to choose from and they just have not dated. They still get so many content, and it's still games that you can just enjoy with your friends. Left of the Two, for example, you play with all your friends. It's one one pound forty nine, and you cannot complain. It's a fantastic game, tons of content. Go ahead and get any of these games that you haven't already already got. If you're crazy enough not to open them. Moving on to Motorsport Manager, which is currently £8.49. It's a game that a lot of people probably won't recommend, but it really depends what you are into. I myself, I'm a big motorsport fan. I love racing, and this is great. You get to manage your own team, and you, it really t depends how you, you take the game. You can sort of build your own brand new team and build them up, or you can take over a currently running team and, you know, just win, win the races all the time. But there's so much to do in this game, and I, I really think that it deserves a lot more attention from people because I reviewed this myself and I really enjoyed it. Verdon, 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 Verdon for four pounds seventy-four is next. This game was here before World War One was cool. I'm not saying that World War One was cool, but World War One games, yeah, before Battlefield One basically. Verdon is a lot more of a slow-paced shooter, and it's it's a ton of fun. I really enjoyed uh, when I played it. 
And for £4.74, you do get a really good first-person shooter that looks fantastic still to this day. Another game ported by Feral, Mad Max. For £6.39, it's a fantastic game. It was a game I saw when uh, before it was actually properly released, and I was tempted to get it. But then I sort of held off, and then obviously uh, Feral actually announced that they were going to be porting it. And that's really when my, my interest peaked, and I, I did end up getting it, and it, it was a really fantastic game. There's so much to do, uh, it's really fun, and you, a lot of the, the fun comes from the car combat, which is it's just on another level, it's so much fun. Next up, Crypt of the Necrodancer for £2.19. This game was a really big surprise when I first played it, I really didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. But I sort of went to make a review for it, and then I got stuck into the game, and I really enjoyed it. And you basically just jump to the beat of the music and you fight you fight lots of enemies and basically defeat a lot of unique bosses. Outlast 1 for £2.24 is an absolute steal. And because it's so cheap, you'll actually have enough money left over for some for, for some new underwear basically. The game is shit scary. It has some DLC as well that will definitely be worth buying. Because it, it's really messed up. <laughs> I completed it like um, on my actual my, my first ever other channel, other channel I guess, uh, that I don't run anymore and it's, it's certainly got some interesting moments in that game um, from when I looked like a different person. But yeah, our last one, the Hotline Miami games. Both of the games in total are £3.73. I would highly recommend these games. I actually platinumed Hotline Miami 1 on the PS Vita and it's so much fun. It's a lot more fun than I expected and it's it's even better if you actually use a, a joypad, I feel. Uh, I think you can re react a lot better if you like and just aim quickly. Um, but yeah, it, it's, a, it's a really fun game. I still need to complete Hotline Miami 2. I got quite far on it, but um, I, I haven't actually got, completed it yet. <laughs> Linux user's current alternative to Dark Souls is Sultan Sanctuary. For £8.15, it is not bad at all. Don't let a 2D setting trick you into thinking that this game is going to be easy. It's not. It's not easy. It's really hard and stressful. Get this game. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite is £4.99. It's a fantastic game. Sadly, we don't have the other two games currently, but Bioshock Infinite, you don't need to play the other games. It's its own separate game, and it's so worth the money. It's a fantastic game. I actually completed it originally on the PS3. <laughs> All that 30 FPS glory, but um, yeah, it's... It's a fantastic port as well, and it's just a brilliant game. A lot of people were taken by surprise by the different atmosphere, but they did it right. The game looks beautiful. Get it. Ah, the replay god, Binding of Isaac. It's back for £5.49. I can't recommend this game enough. I actually recently made a review for this game because I made a video in the past, which was a quick video where I didn't actually play the game previously. But ever since actually properly playing the game, it's fantastic, there is so much to it. And it's just endless fun, like, you, every run is different and it's just a unique game every time you make a new run. More horror game glory for you guys, Amnesia the Collection for £4.4. So you get two games, you get Amnesia A Machine for Pigs and the original Amnesia The Dark Descent. Now that was a super scary game <laughs> and I completed it a while ago. And it was the it was the OG uh, like YouTube phenomenon like face cam amnesia is at the roots of that and it's it's a game that certainly deserves that uh, I guess title um, but it, it's a fantastic game and if you haven't actually played it yet and seen any videos for it definitely play it because you're you're gonna be in for a surprise for one of the steals on the Steam sale Insurgency for one pound four. Sorry, microphone. <laughs> you cannot complain for one pound for the Insurgency is a fantastic game. I've covered it quite a few times on this channel. It's a fantastic FPS shooter, probably one of the best currently on Linux. Insurgency is still a fantastic game, even if you are a Windows user. There is still a fantastic fan base in this game that still plays this game every day, and it's one pound four. Next up, another feral port for three pound seventy four is Tomb Raider. Now this is another game that I originally completed on the PS3. Uh, I don't know. I sort, I sort of wish I waited, <laughs> um, but it took me by surprise because the uh, the Tomb Raider series wasn't doing so great at the time, and they completely rebo rebooted it with this game, and it, it was a ton of fun. And 
I think highly underrated. Like even though it was highly rated, I think it should have been high higher rated. It's 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 so good. Like definitely check it out for such a cheap price. Okay, last but not least, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 for £1.74. This game, it's aged so well, like, it's still one of the best Star Wars games to date. When I made my review, I played it and I just got so sunk into it. I got my lightsaber and it felt so damn good. I, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's such a fantastic game, especially if you are a big Star Wars fan. Right guys, I definitely went over my 20 games limit, thanks to uh, the Amnesia Collection. Uh, there was another couple, I think there was a Valve, I think there was a lot of Valve games in there somewhere, something like that. But yeah, this, this is my list of what I recommend, so uh, I guess in before you forgot to mention this game. These are my recommendations, if you have any recommendations feel free to leave it down below. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, rate and subscribe for future links content, and peace the hell out. See you later.